Hello, my people. So I am here to talk to you today about school and wellness 101, specifically college and wellness 101, because this is more applicable to my life since I don't have little ones running around. So I'm gonna be going over some really basic tips with you. I wanted to do this quick little video because I'm going to be teaching a free class at CSUMB on November 14th, 2019 at CSUMB. It is going to be at three o'clock, I believe. I think it's three to 4.30. And so if you have any questions about that specifics, please let me know. Well, without further ado, I wanted to go through this really quickly. So I'm gonna be covering again in more detail at the class. The first part of wellness is our diet, if, if we're eating right. And so I find that meal prepping is a really great tool, especially when we're in college because we are freaking busy. Classes are crazy. And so it's helpful to have things planned and prepped the weekend before. So I'm gonna have a whole nother video on meal prepping, but basically chop your veggies, get your grain, brown rice, quinoa ready, and like a sauce ready. And, and follow people on social media, like yours truly, Aaliyah's Rich Remedies. Minimalist Baker is another really good one, but again, more details on that coming up. Try to get food in bulk if we can. Try to shop locally if you can. I know that CSUMB has a farmer's market now on campus. Cha-ching! It's unfortunately the one day I'm not on campus. And packing lunches idea. I'm going to be going more over that in the minute. So in the class, the one thing I wanted to mention about nutrition and, and eating right, it's hard to get all the nutrients that we need. Am I right? I try my best to do meal prepping and eat a ton of veggies and a variety of food and really colorful food, but I know that I'm not getting all the nutrients I need because even though I prep all of it, sometimes I don't get to eating it all. <laughs> and so I find that taking supplements is a really good way to bridge that gap. And so it's really important that the supplements you choose are whole food and digestible so our body actually knows what the hell to do with them. They're from a really good source. So doTERRA's vitamins or their lifelong vitality pack are some of the best supplements that I've found. And I was a big supplement snob. So this is saying something. So it comes in a three pack, whole food vitamins and, vitamins and minerals, essential fatty acids, vegan or non-vegan, and an anti-inflammatory blend. So all of these ingredients are really, really, really helpful for stress levels, for hormone levels, for brain function, digestion, proper sleep, really for a lot of these different things that are directly applicable to specifically college and the immune system. So that's another thing that you know we, need, we all need some support with. Um, exercise is gonna be another huge piece of this. And so the minimum requirement for exercise is 150 minutes of aerobic exercise a week. That's moderate intensity and then uh, 75 minutes of vigorous intensity. So vigorous is like going on a really hard hike or biking or competitive sports, things like that. So I always like to set the minimum and then if I hit it, then yes. And if I go above it, then even bigger yes. So, and then also do resistant, resistance train each major muscle group twice a week. So this is gonna be a whole nother video on exercise. But I just wanted to put that in there because there's tons of benefits for exercising. Maybe even just do a really high intensity interval training, HIIT, H-I-I-T, like 15 minutes is really helpful even. And if you struggle with exercise, if you struggle with energy getting into exercise, there's some really awesome doTERRA products to help. So number one, those supplements, having the correct, the right energy cofactors is really important. So that comes from whole food, whole food or the supplements that I was talking about. Uh, Mito2 Max is a really good one. It's really supportive to adrenals. And again, those energy cofactors really supportive of the mitochondria that produce the ATP or the energy that we use in our bodies. Another great hack is peppermint. So putting a drop of peppermint on the back of your hand and licking it off 
know it sounds a little weird, but just do it. Super energizing. You can get the peppermint touch or make your own peppermint roller bottle. Roll that on your temples, the back of your hands, rub your hands together. Take some nice inhales, and that's really helpful for anything where you need energy. So whether it's exercise or studying or trying not to fall asleep in a really boring class because we all have one of those, at least one per semester, if not more. And let's see here, the breathe oil is really good if you have some respiratory challenges for, for exercise or if you struggle with like anxiety and if you, if you have trouble breathing, taking a drop of breathe, rubbing your hands together and huffing that bad boy is such a good way to help open up your lungs. Okay, moving on. Uh, reducing toxic load. This is really important that I'm going to be talking more about in the class. And then inform self-care. So this basically means, do we know how to take care of ourselves on a more day-to-day -day basis for whatever comes up? So if we're needing more energy and focus, do we know how to do that besides just another cup of coffee? I mentioned the peppermint, but basically any of the mint or citrus oils, it's going to be really uplifting and energizing. There's an amazing blend called In Tune that actually has three of the oils that pass the blood brain barrier. And so it's, they have very oxygenating effects on the brain. And so this is really helpful when you're trying to study and focus during class. I use it all the time. You roll it up and down your forearms on the, your occipital ridge here, the, ba the base of your brain stem. And that's, again, going to get into your brain and help the brain function properly. And so that's a really great tool that you can utilize. You can also diffuse oils if you're trying to study. And studies have shown that if you're using, if you're smelling something while you're studying, you can help re-stimulate those pathways during your test if you're smelling the same thing. So hence why I'm always rubbing oils on me <laughs> at school and at home and just any, any time. And so immune system, we all need support with our immune system, especially during the fall semester. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's getting sick, you guys. And we all know that you cannot even miss one day of class because if you do, you're fucked. Because you just, there's so much material covered in each class. So we literally can't afford to miss class, especially like a full week of class that really throws off everything. And so to be able to have tools to support your immune system is invaluable in college. We literally, yeah, we can't afford not to. The cool thing about essential oils is they actually get into the cell, which is where the viruses live. So this is why if you go to the doctor when you have a cold or flu, they say basically you're shit out of luck because we can't do anything. Just go home and rest because antibiotics can't get into the cell. And so they can't affect the virus. Essential oils can. So again, invaluable tool to be able to utilize during the school semester and year. So they have great kids supplements, but again, we're not really talking about kids. Basically all of their on guard products, the on guard oil, you can gargle with it, make a throat spray. If you have a sore throat, you can clean with it, make your own hand sanitizer, it's just water and on guard. If people around you are sick, you can spray other people if they're coughing all over. I'm just kidding. Maybe not. The flower oils are really supportive for the immune system. The rose, jasmine, neroli, uh, things like that. Also digestion, <laughs> because whether you just went out drinking really hardcore and your stomach's all upset, Digest Zen can be really helpful and soothing. Peppermint, ginger, all of these oils are really helpful. Or if you're just sick, or if you have a nervous tummy. It's funny that I just said that. Anyways, there's some great tools to support digestion. So I'm gonna cut it there because I don't wanna give too many of my secrets away, but if you are in the Monterey area, come to this class on November 14th at CSUMB. Again, I think it's three to 4.30. PM, but message me if you want any more details or if you can't make it, I'd, I'm still happy to go over the information with you. So let me know if you have any tips about school and wellness, and I hope to see you on November 14th.